Let's read. All around the world, people like to read books, newspapers, magazines, and comic books. In Japan, reading manga is a really popular free time activity. Manga is a type of comic book. In manga, there are words and pictures to tell a story or give information. There are lots of different types of manga. For example, adventure, mystery, science fiction, and comedy. There is manga for all ages. You can find manga on the internet too. There are also manga computer games and manga cartoons on television. There are even manga cafes where you can look at manga on the internet. Or read manga books and magazines. Manga started in Japan, but it's now popular in many countries. Some libraries in the USA have manga reading groups. The Great Wall of China. About 2,400 years ago, there were many small countries in China. There were often wars. People didn't want enemies in their country, so they built big walls to keep them out. For more than 2,000 years, people built walls, destroyed walls, and built new walls. The Great Wall of China is really many walls. Together, they are about 7,000 kilometers long. The walls are about 7 meters high. There are also many taller towers. Prisoners, soldiers, and other people built the wall. They transported the stones and bricks by hand. This work was hard and dangerous. About three million people died building the wall. Later, more than one million soldiers guarded the wall, but it was hard to stop the enemies. People also used the wall as a road. Today, Tourists like to walk along the wall. For many years, people thought that you could see the Great Wall of China from the moon. But this is not true. Skyscrapers. When there isn't much ground, We can build tall buildings. Very tall buildings are called skyscrapers. The first skyscraper was the Home Insurance Building. It was built in Chicago, in the USA, in 1885. It was 42 meters tall. The tallest skyscrapers are now much taller than this. The Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia, are the tallest twin buildings. There is a bridge between the two towers called a sky bridge. One of the tallest skyscrapers is the Burj Dubai. It's in Dubai, in the United Arab Emirates. It's 818 meters tall. That's nearly a kilometer. It's made of a special, strong concrete called reinforced concrete. The Burj Dubai has apartments, shops, swimming pools, hotels, restaurants, and a library. 
It's like a very tall town. Petra. About 2,000 years ago, people in the Middle East bought and sold cloth and spices in many countries. They often traveled across land in large groups called caravans. They used camels to transport people and things. One of the places where the caravan stopped was Petra. Petra is a fantastic city in the desert in Jordan. People built the city in the pink cliffs. The caravan stopped in Petra because it had water and places to sleep, and it was safe from enemies. Some of the caravans were seven kilometers long, and they had 2,500 camels. At different times, people from different places lived in Petra. They made wonderful temples, a theater, a palace, and tombs in the pink cliffs. Later, earthquakes destroyed a lot of Petra. Today, many tourists visit this amazing place. People also make movies here, for example, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. The Taj Mahal The Taj Mahal is in India. It looks like a palace, but it's a tomb. It's one of the most beautiful tombs in the world. There are gardens and fountains around the building. The tomb is made of 28 types of stone and jewel from all over India and other countries. Most of the tomb is made of a beautiful white stone called marble. About 20,000 people built the Taj Mahal, and it took 22 years. More than a thousand elephants helped to move the stones for the building. The Taj Mahal was built about 400 years ago. The Emperor Shah Jahan built it for his wife, Mumtaz Mahal. She died when she had her 14th baby. Shah Jahan was very sad, so he built the Taj Mahal to remember his wife. Later, Shah Jahan's son wanted to be the emperor, so he put his father into prison. When Shah Jahan died, people put his body in the Taj Mahal so that he was with his wife forever. The Colosseum Where did ancient Romans go for fun? They went to the Colosseum in Rome. They watched fights in this big and beautiful stadium. The fights were with gladiators and wild animals, like lions, crocodiles, rhinos, and even elephants. The Colosseum wasn't fun for everyone. About 500,000 people and one million wild animals died there. About 2,000 years ago, Rome was a very important city. The Colosseum was the most fantastic building in the city. It was big enough for more than 50,000 people. 
the Colosseum had many arches. There were about eighty big arches to let people in and out. There was also a cloth roof to protect people from sun and rain. Later, two earthquakes destroyed some of the Colosseum. Then people took stones from the Colosseum to build many other buildings in Rome. So the building that we can see today gives only an idea of how beautiful it was in the past. Thousands of tourists visit the Colosseum every year. Free time is very important. It's good for you to do something different after school or work. It's also fun. Many of our favorite free time activities are popular all around the world. Soccer is the most popular sport in the world, and it's a big part of life in Brazil. People here love to watch and play soccer in their free time. In Brazil, you don't need a pitch or expensive boots to play soccer. People play soccer in the street and on the beach. Children often play with no boots. Some people think that Brazilians are good at soccer because they learn a special way to play when they are children. They learn to play a type of soccer called futsal. There are five players in each team. The ball is small, but it's full of sand, so it's very heavy. Futsal started in South America, but now it's popular in many other countries. One evening at a restaurant, a man and woman were shocked by a child's behavior. The little boy was out of control, running around while his parents didn't have a clue that he was causing trouble. They were just enjoying their dinner. The other couple was upset because they had gone through the trouble of getting a babysitter for their own kids. They just wanted an evening out so they could relax and have dinner in peace. They were also upset because the restaurant was noisy and it was taking forever to get their food. They told the waitress that the bottom line was that parents had to keep their kids under control and teach them how to behave in public. I think I'm really in hot water with my teacher. She wrote a note in my paper that she wants to see me in her office tomorrow. I think I know why. I worked really hard on my last paper, but right before I had to hand it in, I got busy, and I copied something from the internet. Just a small thing, maybe a few paragraphs. I didn't think she'd know. I can't believe it. I'm so scared. What will she do to me? I hope I don't get an F. What if she tells my parents? I'll be in really hot water with them, too. I promise to never copy again. I hope they'll believe me. It's a big problem, and we need to solve it. But don't worry, we're working on it. Too many people are living on the streets. We're trying to help them. We're finding them places to live and helping them get jobs. And, of course, we have people helping them with their drug and alcohol problems. Please know that we're doing all we can. We're working on this day and night. It's true that I didn't work very hard, and that's why my grades were so bad. But I've changed. Right now, I'm working on two papers, and I know I'm doing a good job. And I had a big test last week, and do you know how long I studied? Six hours a day, for three days. 
Really? Believe me, this time I'm going to get all A's. Don't worry. Hi, I'm Alice. I'm doing some internet research on wedding customs in four different countries. I already found out a lot about customs in India, but I need to find out more about customs in Ethiopia, Japan, and Peru. Hi, remember me? I'm Alice. I just wanted to let you know that I found a great website with information about wedding customs in Japan. If you want me to email you the address, just let me know. Hi, I'm Mark. I'm in Alice's class, and I have the same assignment. At first, I didn't know what topic to do research on. But I found Alice in the library and talked to her. She gave me some good ideas to think about. I'll let you know tomorrow what I decide to do research on. Hi there. I finally made my decision. Sorry you had to wait, but I wanted to be sure I picked the right research topic. As you know, Yesterday, I talked to Alice about a few possible topics. And then I got online and looked at a few websites. First, I found out what I don't want to do research on. And that's classical music, because I already know a lot about that. Well, after looking at a lot of websites, I decided to do research on the history of jazz, because I don't know anything about that. 